With the federal government shut down, one would think universities like Marshall that receive government stipends would see an immediate effect. Marshall faculty say this isn't the case. Students are still going to class despite a hold in cash flow from the federal government. I think it's easy to kind of blow these things up into more than they are. Um, I think we need to be more realistic and, and see that you know probably most things will function properly. Once we start getting into week three, four, five, that's when we might start seeing more of those problems. Faculty members say the government appropriations are already in Marshall's bank accounts for this fiscal year, so the shutdown won't affect operations for quite some time. If we, we stay in shutdown for um, the rest of this fiscal year, then yes, maybe we all need to press that panic button, but for, for now, no, and I, I don't think it's realistic to think that the shutdown is going to last for another year. Beller says Marshall may be safe from the immediate impact of the shutdown, but any federal student aid may be delayed until the nation gets back on track. I, mean, I think it could last two days. I think it could last two months. Um, as, as long as there's going to be some pushback from the American people, maybe even students themselves so rising up and having a voice, I think ultimately there will be some resolution within Congress. Wishful thinking maybe on my end, but we've always gotten through it in the past, and I think we can do it again. Since 1977, the U.S. government has experienced 17 shutdowns similar to this one, the last of which was 17 years ago during the Clinton administration.